K2 Black Panther, one of the most modern tanks of today, is a main battle tank developed by South Korea. I will talk about the technical features and production story of this tank, which is a competitor to the Leopard 2. In the 1980s, rising tensions between North and South Korea led to increased investment in military technology. At that time, the most modern tanks in South Korea's inventory were the old generation M48 Patton tank. South Korea needed a new tank, but South Korea, which did not have enough resources and technology for a new tank, asked for American help for the tank. General Dynamics Company was already developing the Abrams tank for America in the 80s, and they worked together for South Korea's new tank. The K-1 tank, which appeared in 1984, is therefore very similar in appearance to the M-1 Abrams. Towards the end of the 80s, the K-1 main battle tank entered the inventory of South Korea, but North Korea still posed a serious tank threat. That's why South Korea decided to develop a new generation tank. This new tank was intended to have better armor protection, higher firepower, and active passive protection systems. The first prototype of the XK-2 program, which started in 1995, appeared in 1998. After many tests and trials were done on the prototype, K-2 Black Panther appeared in 2008. Serial production of this tank began in 2013, and in 2014 the K-2 Black Panthers began service for South Korea. Thanks to this tank, South Korea gained superiority against both North Korea and China. Although modern Chinese tanks are advanced, they still cannot technically outperform the K-2. The K-2 Black Panther is literally a NATO tank, but it also has some features that NATO tanks do not have, such as an autoloader. This tank has a combat weight of 55 tons and a height of 2.5 meters. The tank, which has a crew of three people, has a 1,500 horsepower diesel engine made in Germany. However, in the newly produced versions, the domestically produced Hyundai 1,500 horsepower engine is used. The maximum speed of this tank, which has 27 horsepower per ton, is 70 kilometers per hour. The K2 tank, which has a hydropneumatic suspension unit, can shoot as it wishes in the rough terrain of South Korea. In addition to the standard armor steel, this tank has new generation reactive armors. The main weapon of the tank is the 120mm L55 cannon produced by Rainmetal. This gun is produced by Hyundai in South Korea under a different name and under license. This cannon, which has an autoloader feature, has 16 bullets ready to fire and 24 bullets are stored at the bottom. The K2 tank, which can fire 15 rounds per minute in a row, has two external machine guns. The fully digital K2 tank can use all NATO standard ammunition. 